Yeah, we people start originally from our homeland Like my old man say, there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical straight from the groove, out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more semi-cultural Previously on Delos we pick up the hook and leave Ascension Island behind. After only a few hours of being out, our autopilot breaks, and we begin our 2,000 nautical mile journey by hand steering. We'll just hand steer for now. Yep. Good morning. Beautiful sunrise behind me. It's about 7.30. I think it's just getting on to the end of day three and uh, pretty sweet conditions so far, like wind is right on the beam. We've sailed almost 500 miles and uh, I think pretty soon, I have a feeling that the crew is gonna start coming alive. Usually on like day four of a passage, people kind of crawl out of their holes and get out of their bunks and are feeling like up and about. So maybe we'll be in the cockpit hanging out today. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, it's going to be a beautiful day, I have a feeling. Full sails out, check it. Right on the beam. With 460 nautical miles of sailing covered during our first three days, we are off to a great start. On passage, we're confined to 53 feet of space on Delos, as opposed to being at anchor, where if you want to get away, you can swim or take Maggie. At first, this is a pretty big adjustment to make, even for us more seasoned cruisers. But then you fall into the rhythm. When you're not at the helm or on your cooking shift, you have all the time in the world to do whatever you want and can actually find a bit of solitude. As we were now on to our fourth day, we took some time to reflect on this. Hey, question of the day, what's your favorite part about passage? It's definitely nothing. Just doing nothing and being okay with it. Like, I can read, I can lay there, I can listen to audiobooks, I can sleep. I can do pretty much whatever the hell I want when I'm not on watch. And it's cool. And I really enjoy that. No expectations, no guilt. Just that. Everything slows down. Like your whole life just slows way down and I haven't found this really anywhere else. Um, the thing that I love the most about Passage is that you're always accomplishing goals all the time. The boat's always moving, there's always people sailing the boat, especially when you're hand steering. And it's good, it's just a good feeling to know that there's always, you're always moving forward, you're always making progress, even while you're sleeping. Do you ever get bored? I think the first three or four days you get bored and then after that you just are bored of being bored and then everything's okay. You can just sit there for two or three hours and stare at a window or stare at shadows or stare at a plant and it's okay. You don't get bored anymore. <laughs> You're forced to relax. No, I can't say that I ever do. <laughs> I mean, this is the closest I could come to being bored and so I just make like hot noodles and eat them. Pretty good. <laughs> what are your plans for your watch, Karen? I'm just gonna stand here, listen to nothing, stand and think about good things, look at the waves, and that's it. Good plan. Yeah, we're still on um, Port Tag Beam. Reach all sail Thera. Um, everything is very consistent. Delos is doing pretty good on exactly 90, and when we're sailing exactly 90, we're going perfectly our course. Nice. So. Oh wow. There she goes. It's easy, huh? Little Karen. So big. Little Karen. <laughs> Steering a big yard. Clear ahead.
so it's just really beautiful hand steering today. The boat is really well balanced and we don't have that much swell and the sun is shining. And I've had a bird following us for a little bit, hunting. I've been watching him as we scare up the flying fish, he goes for them. <laughs> oh, I found another flying fish. He made it all the way on top of the dodger. Look at him. Shame. It's a big one too. Bye bye flying fish. Hi. What are you doing, bud? Trying to do some filming. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the ocean, it's just the people that you're on the boat with, and it's just you and your thoughts. And you can spend an hour or five hours staring at the ocean, and I don't know, it kind of gives you some perspective in a way. It's not all sitting back and relaxing, though. Things still break, like always. Sad. Well, so I take it you're not a fan of the situation, hey? I might just stand here until it all blows over. <sighs> or is it just spinning out of control? When you live in such close quarters, it's impossible not to become a family and be comfortable with each other. And being at sea with literally nowhere to go but the 53 foot of Delos brings out some interesting interactions. How you been here? Getting anywhere nice on the holidays? What? Getting anywhere nice on the holidays? Pushing some clams? That's what we say in English. She asked about like holidays. Are you yes. going anywhere nice on your... One of my favorite your... meals, Eggs Benedict. <laughs> Are you going anywhere nice on your holidays? Nope. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. Now you're dripping all over the floor. We're in the sea. It's water. And I've just seen you dribbling all over Alex. <laughs> you little grub spit. 
<laughs> this speed will have another 20 days at sea and Liz will turn 30 on Delos. I'm not turning, I'll be 29. Not according to your mom. I'm born in 1988. Mm-hmm. What, are you, what piece are you cooking uh, up today, Lisa? So, I was thinking about what I should make for dinner today, the whole day. And during my watch, I thought that I should pull out the fishing ropes and hope to catch some tuna because I really, 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 really want to make sushi. And actually, I thought we will have a tuna uh, on our fishing line, but that's not the case. So, I'm making something out of the pressure cooker's cookbook. Wow. Yeah. And I decided to make butternut squash casserole. Because we nearly have got every single ingredient, but I think it's pretty perfect. That's and pretty unique. Yeah. We always have like two ingredients. Yeah, no, we nearly have <laughs> everything, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think uh, butternut squash casserole with some rice gonna be good a little vegetarian uh, break from all the ham and meat the last days I feel like I need some vegetarian stuff in my belly nice awesome yeah. there so our iridium's not connecting again for some reason uh, so we're not able to check emails or weather or anything like that. So I'm attempting to get the old SSB working, but it's just been so long since we've used it. I replaced the fuse with a... I remember a long time ago this thing blew, and the only fuse we had was a 5 amp. So I put the right fuse in there. And I've got it connecting to the computer now. You have to turn off the fans. Turn off that fan. They all produce electrical noise. Turn off all this stuff. I'll have to turn off the instruments. Let's drive by the compass. Okay. Hear it? So I'm connected somewhere 3,866 miles away. So we went old school. We haven't we used this in like five years. A long time. And it's, and, and it's working. And it's completely free. Completely free email access, and I'm gonna try and check weather now. Okay, so basically, once you talk to the the SSB radio, the computer controls it. So you install this program called Airmail. You open it up, and the computer takes over remote control of this and then you can look at a propagation window and basically you find a station in here and it tells you given sunspots, your current position, the position of the station and the time of day, the probability of you being able to connect to this guy. So each of those stations is someplace far away on land yeah, with so a this massive one, HF antenna. This is the one I was able to connect to, Neon. Vod, 3,866 miles away. So I'll try and connect again and send Wow. It. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Ooh, looking good, Lisa. Yes. Yes. No, no. <laughs> oh, Are you ready? I have no idea how it tastes. I hope it's okay. It's hot. Mmm. Smells delicious. Well, how are the flavors? Lisa. Tell us about the flavors. Lisa has done it again. God damn. Dang it, Lisa! It says. Oh, it's got good saltiness, sweetness, sourness. It's very well balanced flavor. Mm. And then bread and melted cheese. Oh. Yes. Right. So what do we got? Well, we got some leather. Yeah. Old school ribs. Look at it. And I found out where we're connecting to. It's somewhere actually right here. Right here, like the France-Switzerland border. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> weird, huh? So this is now current position. Here's the high, right? Yeah. And so here's Rio, right? Right at this corner. Yep. 
And so we'll have to watch this because it looks like here it came up. Uh, there was something here and then even now there was something here that caused a little bit of a southerly burp there, but not too big. So it probably doesn't really make sense for us to cruise down like this. We definitely want to stay on our course like this yeah. and cut somewhere in here. Rum line. And uh, yeah, we'll check it again. And then we'll have made our entire passage with no motor. Yeah, Whoa, we'll it's still when, early. We'll <laughs> when we get there. But yes, I think we will. Um, dropped and it's gotten more easterly which means it's gone more behind us and in these really light conditions it's hard to hand steer because the waves push us, push us around and the sails kind of lose the wind a lot so we're going to try and put the pole out on the starboard side and hopefully it'll help keep the sail full and It'll probably make it a bit safer for steering because we don't want to accidentally jibe and with the wind angle at like 120, 130, we need to make sure we don't turn too far and jibe and with the pull out you have to turn quite far to jibe, so we'll see if it helps. It's a good angle for it. Safety first. Don't want to fall overboard around here. Uh -huh. mm -mm. Nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. In order to do this and not start the engine and stuff and make it okay for you to steer. I'm gonna put the main out okay. and you can keep the wind at like 90 degrees or something just to keep us stable okay. and then we'll pull the Genoa in and then pull out Genoa back out main in. Morning. Still on the same watch, 6H slot, and um, yeah, two things. One, look at that beautiful sunset coming up. I absolutely love the 6H uh, slot because you get the best of the night and the best of the day as well. And uh, another thing, we've been traveling now, this is our fifth, fifth day of sailing. I haven't spotted anything. No life, no nothing. And I check radar. There's another boat. Never been this excited <laughs> to spot another boat. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Brian this morning, saying good morning. I can hear him scampering off in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the rest of this gorgeous sunset. Just look at it. It's wow. amazing. Morning. Good morning. Oh, nice sunrise, huh? Yeah, incredible. So, we've got a treat for you, Brian. What's that? We've got another boat. Whoa, cool. Yeah. There she is, the Q Shay. First boat we've seen on passage. She's going 12.8 knots, course, heading, position,
cargo ship, 217 meters. All right, we've got another boat on AIS now, it's going the other direction. So this must actually be a shipping lane then, because if you zoom out, you can see that it's sort of a straight line between Brazil and South Africa. So the boats are just coming around the Cape or coming from South Africa or from the Indian Ocean and then heading straight over to Brazil, maybe the Caribbean or something. I have woken up this morning to a lovely day four. Day four, right? I think so. A lovely day four. It's awesome. The sun is shining, but because the wind has come more from the east, the rolls are back. Rolls. The rolls, <laughs> which I'm not super excited about, but at least we still have wind. They will go so away. that's good. And do you think it will turn more southeast again? Eventually, it always does. So I have the three hour shift of hand steering today, and it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's definitely different to. Um, hand steer when the wind is kind of from behind us instead of in front of us so or in front of us but instead of on the beam and we're going a definitely a little bit slower and we're going a little bit south of our course because otherwise it just gets really uncomfortable a lot of rolls but it's quite nice and it's very easy to steer you just have to take a bearing I take a bearing on the clouds and then I just kind of steer by that and then I check the compass every now and then to make sure I'm not way off course because the cloud had moved or something. <laughs> so, it's pretty chill. Looking forward to the next three hours. Just standing up and breathing in the fresh sea breeze. It's very nice. The last repair time! Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I was walking around on deck the other day and look at this, this is weird. So this is the pole for the port side and right here and here there's supposed to be rivets that hold the end cap on and there's actually only one rivet holding this in now. No I'm way. not sure why that really? happened. Yeah, see there, that's what it's supposed to look like. There's one missing there, there, and there. So I don't know if they've just corroded away. So three are missing. Over age or what? I've got a drill and I've got a rivet gun, so. You got a rivet gun? Of course. Nice. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Fixing time. Okay. These are the rivets, 4.8 millimeter. Here's the rivet gun. Rivet gun. Doing rivets is actually pretty fun too. You just gotta make your hole. I'm just gonna reuse the old hole. I just have to drill out the, the tail end of the old rivet. And then, put the rivet in the rivet gun, like that. Put it in, and then you just squeeze the handle. And then it gets, it brings the bottom end up and mushrooms it, and when it gets tight, you can feel it, and then it breaks it off. It. Good as new, huh? Good as new. You want to do one? Of course. And then just give it a quick tap. Yep. Okay, that's good enough. Push it all the way in there. It's in. And then squeeze it. Squeeze it. And then let it go. Do it again. Ah. Game face on. Oh, one more time. Squeeze. Ah, almost. Use some muscles, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> oh, almost. Hold on. Let it go. Okay. Should I do it a third time? Yep. Time. Ready? Go. Squeeze. Anaconda squeeze. Anaconda squeeze. <laughs> Put all your power into it. 
use your power. <laughs> My power. Can't. No, okay. Oh. Nope. Good Pink. as new. That's it. That's it. Good job. So, Brian, what's the thought of the day today? Fixing. I thought of fixing things today and I did. I fixed a fan. Yeah, screw you fan. Get it in there, screw it in. And I fixed the rivets on that pole there. I'm pretty happy about that. What happened to that fan? It just fell down. It wasn't stabbed here, right? No. <laughs> it just fell down. I don't know why. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> After asking ourselves the question, what is it about passages that we love so much? It's this, it's a new rhythm, a change in pace, a different lifestyle. One that's removed from the distractions of the busy world. We each take something different away from our time at sea, whether it's marveling at the big blue expanse or occupying yourself with projects around the boat. It's the freedom to do any of those things that makes the journey special. It's your time and it's in the now. Monsters that sit in front of their computers all day. Editing Delos episodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we must edit. <laughs> hey, sunset break. Yeah, one second. Yeah, one second. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> you gotta put that in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. For sure. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Yeah. By the way, new rule: if you're driving, you have to wear the captain's hat. Hmm. Why? Why not? Okay. Wow. Look at all those different clouds. That's insane. What do you think, Mr. Brady? Is that what? I don't know. What do I think? Okay. It's a glorious sunset, that's what I think. I think that sunset is made of magic and glory. With a sprinkle of chocolate chips. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, honestly, I just came on watch and it's 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. And Man, <laughs> the conditions are mind-blowing. It's insane. We have 50 knots of wind. It's perfect. The sea is calm, like calm. There, there's literally no wave, no swell, not one. And we are cruising with good speed between five and, and four and six knots and the stars are bright as hell. The Milky Way is right above me. The Southern Cross is leading my way towards Brazil right now and it's so peaceful and perfect. Literally perfect. Man, I think that's my favorite sailing night on Delo so far. I've, no, honestly, honestly, I've no words. I've got no words for that right now. It's really wet. <laughs> I bet, like dew. I so wish you could capture stars like this with the camera but obviously we don't have the fancy enough camera for that <laughs> I don't even know if it's possible with video so Lisa's gonna do a little try and capture it with her camera uh, in pictures instead so we'll see how this experiment go but <laughs> yeah I know it's like <laughs> Capturing stars on a pitch black night on a moving boat. Yeah, I've never felt so balanced and content 
than in this moment and this is definitely definitely my favorite night slash day on Delos and I'm so so thankful and I'm feeling so blessed and honored to be here and I'm so happy that the crew gave me the chance to experience that with them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. But I don't know what will happen tomorrow or in the next few months, but in this moment right now, Everything is perfect. Next up on Delos, we continue to sail our way towards Brazil. Only about 1,400 nautical miles to go. Okay, go! <laughs> I believe you're in the wrong throat. <laughs> the wrong throat. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a proper, that's a proper Pasha, pa, Pasha Chandana, Pasha Chandana. What are you talking about? Jersey. Oh yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it's fine. Just trying to uh, grin and bear it. <laughs> Nearly everybody showered today, except Lisbeth and Brady, I think, which is still a little bit surprising. But yeah. Everybody else showered, even Brian. This is scary. <laughs> you just moved. Give me the fork. <laughs> 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 